Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is what we didn't explain to you in the last vlog, we forgot. Well, we ran the out reason of time. <laughs> we, we moved the um, raised bed there is that uh, we decided we were going to put a hedge along here. And actually, um, we'll show you a picture of the cadastral plan from years ago. They actually did have a hedge along no, here. Photo, aerial photo. Aerial photo. That's right. Yeah. Uh, um, it was taken in the 19, early 60s, we believe 61, and it shows a hedge down here. Yeah, and these are bay trees. They're little saplings that pop up everywhere around here. Yeah. So... Free hedge. Yeah, free hedge. We'll grow it to this height. And at the moment, um, it won't interfere with this apple tree. No. And as that grows it'll be underneath that anyway yeah the tree will come yeah. up there so and it'll provide a little bit of shade down here because yeah. not all plants um want to be in the sun all day uh, south that way so it'll provide a little bit of shade uh, but this bed would have been too crammed in um uh, next to it so that's yeah. why we moved it yeah because last year we were actually putting the gazebo up for some plants yeah it's too hot for they, some of them they were really wilting so yeah so it's really hot so it's a long-term project they, they're quite slow growing yeah. but maybe a couple of years two or three years it will get up to this height i don't, I don't know. know they seem to have sprouted up well yeah quickly. maybe they're quicker than we thought so yeah that's what we're doing We found this old shelving unit. Um, I can't even remember where we found it. It may have been in the pantry or one of the attics. And to be quite honest, I put it in the outer barn there, the open barn, uh, for firewood because I didn't think it was worth it. You know, it was concertini, you know, it was just not worth doing anything with. And the other day when we were clearing all that metal work uh, from the entrance to the barn, um, it was there. And Sue said, well, can we strengthen it up and just use it in the um, potter chair for now? Um, we've got this rickety old. <laughs> temporary potting shed thing um which does its job but we're running out of room so we thought we'd put some of the pots on there uh, now that we've been doing a lot of planting um i've braced it and hooked it into the wall it'll be all right it's quite sheltered here so might as well use it if we can even if we only get another year and then one day uh hopefully we'll rebuild this but we've got no original photos of it so we don't really know what it was like we do have one or two clues um there's a line here, which I th of an old mortar line, which presumably takes us to this pillar. We've got a mortar line across the front of these bricks. So there's a few little clues. Um, but yeah, we'd like to get some drawings into the Marie's office and um, yeah, rebuild this. So anyway, that's done. Well, I'll, I'll start loading up the truck. Mm. Yeah, get some rubbish. Okay. 
and making a few small Yeah, rockeries are strange things. Um, they, they never look right until you've planted and until a certain amount of maturing those plants has taken place. Uh, whatever you do, they always look as though you've just plonked rock, rocks in the ground. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're, we're coming up this gentle slope uh, to where these thin ones are here. Because uh, what we want to do is blend it into the slope rather than just plonk big rocks everywhere. Because then it looks exactly as that's what you've done. Um, so if we blend, blend it along and down towards that slope there, hopefully it'll look natural by the time we've finished. Um, now Susie's taking a break, she's doing some strimming and things. So I thought I'd just start placing a few and see where, where, where we end up. But of course, um, that's always a dangerous thing to do because um, she may think I've put them <laughs> in the wrong place. <laughs> but I'm gonna carry on. Um, yeah, so um, we're just working our way up to here. Um, we're, we're coming up to here with the rockery because this wheel, once we've cleared space in the barn, we want to actually bring those in every winter. This stayed out all winter and we don't want that. So we've got to leave it clear to get the wheel, wheels in and out. Um, and it will come up to basically where I'm sitting. So, right, onwards and upwards. Well, try to get the slope.
Oh, look what I've just found. Another horseshoe. Somebody's wishing us lots of luck because we keep finding horseshoes, don't we? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, just a quick update. We've spent all day yeah, it takes placing a while. stones and weeding. Moving There's a around. few forget-me-nots <laughs> in here that have seeded themselves, which are quite nice. And I'm quite happy with the lavenders. Yeah. Those ones I took from, they'd rooted themselves um, separately. So, yeah, I took them from up, up there. there. Yeah, yeah they, they're doing um, really well. Yeah, this this is where they have a natural gully. It's not it's not a cobbled courtyard. We know that from when we dug up the drive. Yeah. Um, so we'll leave that. But uh, this is the first stage of the rockery, really, because yeah. obviously there's a bit more soil needed. But good good thing is we've got plenty of digging behind the camera there mm. to do. Uh, and then obviously we've got a plant, and uh, rockeries always look a bit strange until. You've planted. The following year, really. But yeah, we're not too displeased with this. I think it's all right. It, we sort of blended it into um, the slope. So, mm. yeah. And it's one of the hottest days today. It it's, is. It's crazy this weather. It's gone from wind and rain, cold. <laughs> and we hadn't got out here since October, end of October. And now it's gone really hot, like last year. Yeah. So, Let's go and have a cold drink, and um, tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Do you want this a bit spicy? So I don't know whether you remember, but last year we went to a Vide Grogne and we picked up this pan for two euros. And it was brand new. Uh, we don't think it had ever been used. We think it was um, a gift of some sort that never got used. A uh, little paella pan, two euros, bargain. So, not bad at all. So, just knocking up a quick bit of dinner with a bit of rice, onions, uh, peppers and stock and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got some pork strips, which I've browned off, so they'll go in in a minute. And then, uh, yeah, dinner. There you go, honey. Help yourself. Well, once again, big, big thanks to Michelle um, for supporting us, <laughs> literally. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable about this barn now that I've got these three acros up. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a worry and we've got two more of these um, beam setups where the, 
one's straddling the back of another. Um, but yeah, I feel feel a lot safer now with these on there. Thank you, thanks, Michelle. And I do have a label to put on there for you, but uh, I'll put it down somewhere. I'll find that in a minute. But yeah, another one. Thank you. Well, I'm off to do some strimming, um, so I'm going to bid you farewell. A big, big thank you uh, to those of you who bought us coffees. As you've just seen, uh, Michelle bought us an acro prop from our wish list, uh, but we've also had others uh, contribute towards us uh, uh, via the uh, Buy Me A Coffee, so thank you. And thanks to our patrons for your continued support. And if you're interested in seeing more, then why don't you head over to our Patreon page and take a quick look. Um, and hello to all our new subscribers. We had 70 since the last vlog, so thank you ever so much for watching. Um, right, I'm going to go off and say goodbye, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, boy.